YouTube Nation, what's going on you guys? It's EB back here, bringing you guys another Infinite Warfare video. Today's video, we're going over, now this is just my opinion, obviously, but it can make a huge case for what I think the best gun in this beta was. Um, bringing back the Ripper from Call of Duty Ghosts. This was literally my favorite gun in that game. It was a DLC gun that you had to buy. Um, I thought it was well worth it. It is a primary submachine gun that turns into an assault rifle. And now, within Infinite Warfare, to get this, you have to purchase all of the uh, variants of the Evo in order to be able to unlock the Epic version. Or I'm pretty sure you get it in a supply drop. But it is the Ripper from Call of Duty Ghosts. And as you can see on the screen, you can see all the details of this gun. My class setup, I run with it and what have you. Now, what makes this thing so incredible is that it comes with an increased rapid fire uh, perk within it already. And then it also has focus, which reduced idle sway while aiming down sights. So this thing was literally a laser gun that could shoot very fast, and then you can put attachments on it as well. So for me in this class setup, as you guys can see on the screen, I ran with the foregrip, which is a vertical, which even more reduced uh, recoil. We got quick draw. I put the laser sight on because hip fire is absolutely OP in this game. I don't know if it's going to be in the full game itself, but in the beta, hip firing is OP. And then I was switching between stock and rifle barrel, but in this gameplay, you guys are going to be seeing I do have stock on it. And as far as perks, I just ran with ghost, and then I switched between hardline and momentum. Those are the two perks I like to use. For pubs purposes, I kind of like to use Hardline more just to get my kill streaks, and then I was running with Marksman. Um, but yeah, as you guys can see, just by the gameplay and the gun itself, this thing absolutely melts. It shreds. I really hope they uh, make it a lot harder and more difficult to get these variants within the actual game, because you could literally get this gun. Um, I think. I think it only cost 3,500 of those little gears to unlock this once it was open. I, ho I hope it's a little harder to get that because if you can get this game, to get this gun right away when the game first comes out, um, you're just going to be able to shred right away. But if you guys did enjoy this video and if you did agree with the Ripper being the best gun in the beta or one of them, make sure you guys leave a like rating on the video. It really helps the channel. Maybe subscribe for more content. Leave a comment down below of what your guys' favorite guns might have been. And as always, this is EB, and I'm signing out. See ya!